The following is a sample from the New York Open Center's podcast series. You can see our website for full program ordering details. My name is Dean Killian, and I am the founder and director of Brooklyn Nonviolent Communication. Hi, welcome. Soon to be known as the Center for Collaborative Communication. We're in the process of changing our name. And I am also a certified trainer with the International Center for Nonviolent Communication. And I've also co-written a couple of books. And I brought a couple so you can see what they look like. They're down in the bookstore. Uh, feel free to check them out afterwards if you like. Uh, this one I especially love because it's a graphic novel. It's a cartoon book format. And this is all verbatim real life, well I guess they are real life if they're verbatim, they're very real because they're verbatim, examples of me practicing what I'm going to be giving you a taste of tonight in New York City. And one of the fun things to me about being a, an NVC trainer, a trainer in nonviolent communication and being from New York City is a lot of times people say to me, what, you practice this in New York City? Is that even possible? You know, because everyone has an idea about us as New Yorkers, you know, like we're super aggressive, we're impossible, we're all stressed out. I'm not going to ask you if you agree with those judgments, but uh, people have those associations of us, so they're especially, um, it seems to be impressed and amused, what I do for a living. And it's one reason I'm especially excited about sharing these skills with all of you, because I don't uh, go along with all of those judgments about us New Yorkers. I'm a third generation New Yorker and very proud of it. Um, and at the same time, I think, you know, living in New York City, there's a lot going on, right? You're interacting with people quite often and intensely in a way that, you know, you may not be if you're living out in the burbs and you're in your car driving from place to place. We're on the subways, most of us, or, you know, trying to hail a taxi and someone else is maybe trying to hail a, hail a taxi. So I think we maybe do have more opportunities for interactions with people in New York City. So I'm especially glad to be sharing this skill with all of you in my hometown. And I'm just wondering, how many of you have heard about nonviolent communication before? Oh, great. Okay, a lot more than have heard about me. Uh, so I, I appreciate some of you probably have a flavor of what you'd get to learn in the course. For those of you who are unfamiliar with NBC, I want to say a little bit about this model before we go into uh, exploring it a bit more. And what we're going to do tonight, by the way, is I'm going to give you a little background about this model. Then I have some questions I want you to consider with a partner. And then based on the situations you come up with, we're going to do some role plays where I take situations that you offer me. Uh, hopefully we'll have time to do at least one. Well, I want to do at least one, maybe even two. And what we're going to do is do them before and after, kind of simulate what they sounded like without using nonviolent communication and then what it would sound like using nonviolent communication, okay? And I forgot to mention, I feel like I kind of approach this laterally. I want to thank all of you for being here tonight. And I appreciate your interest in wanting to enjoy difficult people. And for me, this practice has made a huge difference in my life and in my family and in relating to myself. And out of everything that I have practiced and learned about in my life, it's pretty much at the top of the scale for practical application in terms of how this practice has impacted my life, impacted my family. You know, one of my favorite stories is, uh, maybe you've heard it before if you've been to an intro, is uh, my mom several years ago over the holidays said something with my brother sitting there and my brother got irritated. What's well, my impression? And uh, he said with her sitting there, how do you take her? She's impossible. And my mom, before I could even respond, I was like self-connecting, thinking, oh, okay, well, how am I going to respond to this? You know, they're both sitting here. And without missing like a, a beat, my mom piped up and said, well, she can handle me because she knows nonviolent communication. <laughs> and um, so she, my mom is one of my favorite, quote, difficult people that I've had a chance to practice this skill on or practice this skill with. And my mom has got so excited about this, she has started to learn nonviolent communication. Um, and my stepfather has also started to learn it. So that's very encouraging for me. And it's just one example of how learning this skill has, like I said, made a real difference in my life in terms of how I connect with people in all different situations. So that's a kind of an overall introduction. I do want to say a little bit about this model for those who are unfamiliar with it. 
This model, uh, which is what you're going to be learning in this course, we call it enjoying difficult people, including yourself. And what we're going to be learning about and practicing is nonviolent communication. This skill is most commonly known as nonviolent communication, or NVC. It also goes by a bunch of other names. Some people call it compassionate communication. Uh, I like to call it authentic communication or collaborative communication. Uh, so it goes by a bunch of different names. It's most commonly known as nonviolent communication, and the name comes directly um, from the Gandhian concept of nonviolence. And the person who developed this model, Marshall Rosenberg, uh, who is a psychiatrist, he started developing this model during the civil rights period. That was a sample from the New York Open Center's podcast series. You can see the full program ordering details at our website, opencenter.org.